In this video, I'll show you how to use Midjourney. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Midjourney works in Discord, so either you need to have the Discord app or you can go and use Discord in your web browser. To use Discord in your browser, all you need to do is go to discord.com and then tap on open Discord in your browser like this. And here we are, Discord is exactly the same. Once you've got Discord, we now need to go and join the Midjourney server. To do that, all you need to do is type in in your browser, discord.g slash mid journey hit enter like so and then we take into the invite page and it'll look something like this and it's going to go and automatically say you've been invited to join mid journey and I can then go and tap on join mid journey like this and I'm now in the server and then you'll be asked for your pronouns we can go and continue with this and then you can go and choose your location and then tap finish. So once you've joined, then all you need to do is go over to the left hand side and scroll down the menu here and see you go into the option for newbies and go and tap on that there. Then this is where we can actually go and start generating images. So, and then what I recommend doing is just scrolling right to the bottom like so. Then what you want to do is tap on the text box and type in slash imagine just like so and then go and tap on it here and it's saying prompt. Then we go and get this box with prompt in and this is where you need to go and type in what you want to go and create the image with. So what you can do is go and write a sentence or alternatively you could just put a word within a comma. In this case I'm going to go and like write a sentence or a paragraph but what's really important is you include two keywords 4k and hyper realistic. This is going to go and give it a really cool effect and then once you're happy with it go and hit enter like so and I just got this message here so I'll quickly press accept TOS like so and now my image should be generated. As you can see in the chat I then get this response here saying waiting to start so I'm not going to wait. And you may need to wait a bit of time but this came quite quickly and as you can see it's still loading us on 93% but yeah this is exactly what I went and described. And now it's finished and we've got four different images and then at the bottom we've got uh, U and V. So U means upscale, which basically means make everything a lot clearer, um, which one you'd like. If I wanted U1, this would be this one here. This would be two, three, and four. Otherwise, you can go and press V1, and then it's going to make variations to that. So I'll do that now. I'll press V1, and now it's going to go and make some slight variations. So then you'll need to go and find uh, the new one as well. So I'll scroll down just like that. As you can see, it's now waiting to start. And there it is. It's now gone and done some more variations, and you'll be able to find which is yours because it's going to be highlighted sort of orange. And then once you're happy with one of them and you want to go and sort of save it and upscale it, then all you need to do is choose which one you like. I want number two in this example, so I'll press U2, and then what it's going to do is go and make that one a lot bigger. And we're going to go and get a response in just a moment. And then here it is. This one did actually take a bit longer. And that is the image I went and created. And then to go and save this image, all you need to do is tap on it like so. And then you can right click on it and go and press save image and go and save it onto your computer. 